What's up YouTube? I'm going to take another look at the solar and wind setup. I added a couple uh, a couple things to the system and uh, built the battery boxes. I think I'm going to go with uh, 6 volt golf cart batteries. Uh, I was looking at these sealed AGM batteries. Mean, they want a lot of money for them. So <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the golf cart batteries. Anyway, let's take a peek. So the only other thing that I did was I added a couple amp meters. This thing to focus in. I got some uh, 50, 50 amp meters. One for the solar, one for the wind. I got these at Missouri Wind and Solar. And they came with the shunt bars, which is these right here. And you got your two sense wires coming off. Like that's for the wind turbine. And I got one over here that is for the solar panel. And right now my battery's at 12.48. There ain't really no sun and wind today. There's supposed to be some uh, filtered uh, sunlight maybe in and out of the cloud, so maybe I'll get a little bit. The other day I was getting 15 mile an hour winds, and she was almost pushing close to 20 amps on that turbine. And that uh, one solar panel I got out there, 100 water... Uh, it was doing about six amps I think it was somewhere around there so not too bad I'm gonna add a couple more solar panels and uh, we got to get these batteries I'm still using this one deep cycle uh, marine battery I mean I've been using it here and there <laughs> charging up my batteries on my uh, my drill, the radio was running, I was sharpening some chains on my chainsaw. I was using a little jigsaw the other day. I mean, it wasn't really drawing much. You're talking when the battery charges go on, that watt meter said it was drawing like 40 watts. So, not too bad. I don't know what it's going to do if I try to run some bigger stuff on it. I'll have to get, I'll find out when I get some more batteries and stuff hooked up. And the other thing I wanted to do was, I've been looking at, uh, this is where my circuit comes in from the house panel. I want to get a transfer switch right here. Just a one circuit transfer switch. I've been looking at these uh, furnace transfer switches. 20 amp. And I'm probably going to go with that. I've been talking to my brother about it. He's an electrician. He's been doing 30 years. A union guy down in Manhattan. So he's pretty familiar with... Uh, electrical stuff so i've been asking him a bunch of questions i mean i was going to rig up something but it's not really code i was going to put a plug that ran to the you know have my lines coming in from the lights and the outlets into just a regular plug and then have the circuit coming in on a switch with a plug i could plug it in pull it out and then plug in the sole i was going to do that but i say you not know i was looking at these switches and you can get them for about eh, i've seen one for eighty dollars free shipping so I'm probably going to go that route. This way I can use my soul. And then if the batteries are running down, I see and I can't get them charged up so quick, I can switch it over to the grid and run that. So this way, because I want to get all these lights on here. These are all LEDs. They're not drawing much. So when I get around to that, I'll show you another uh, update on it. It's very interesting, this wind and soul. I'm, I'm liking it. It's a little hobby for me. Maybe eventually I'll get some into the house. So here's my box. I want to show you the box I built. This is going to be my battery box. I got some 2 inch foam styrofoam in there on the bottom all the way around. That little pipe in there where the wires are going to go into the garage. And I got some venting pipes I put on. Just some PVC that I had laying around. One coming up, one going out. Put a little screen so the little bugs and wasps don't fly in there and make a nest. Eh, I was looking and reading about batteries. Yeah, they get cold, they're going to lose power and your amp hours and all this stuff. But and they also say on a fully charged battery they don't freeze. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Who knows, down the road maybe I'll buy a couple of other sealed up batteries. But for now this is what I'm going to do. All right, you two, let me get back in here. I got the wood stove going in the garage. I got a couple things I'm going to work on. 
Alrighty, take it easy.